Today, RV Insider takes a look at the Creative Design Classes Open House. Find out what gifts classmates want for the holidays. An RV Insider talks to students who gave blood to save lives. All this and more is next on the Thursday, December 2nd edition of RV Insider. Hello and welcome to RV Insider. I'm Courtney Gavin. And I'm Gabrielle Turkanian and here's some of today's news. Our cafeteria trays are disappearing at an alarming and expensive rate. Please make sure to return all trays as soon as possible. Students are also reminded that trays are not to be thrown away in the trash. Come out and support the Meals for Mittens dinner on Friday, December 3rd in the RVRHS cafeteria from 4.30 to 7 p.m. Admission is a new set of mittens, gloves, hat, or scarf. The dinner is sponsored by our cafeteria caterer, Sodexo Food Service, and RV Student Council. All items will benefit a local charity. The creative design class is open for business, and RV Insider reporter Wilkins Xavier was at their open house to see what the class has available for purchase. RV's creative design class held an open house Tuesday for teachers and other staff members. Head of creative designers, Mrs. Gray, explained the purpose of producing this event. Creative Designers is a student-run business. Uh, we run for a semester. Uh, you'll see the kids here. Um, what they do is they uh, produce products anywhere, um, anything from address labels to notepads, luggage tags. We also asked what goes into making items in Creative Design. What they have to do is they have to use the programs that we have here at RV and they use their creative design talents to create those products. So they use Publisher, uh, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word. We asked students why they took part in Creative Designers. Um, I took this class because I thought that sometime down the line I would like to become into a business somehow. Well, uh, in the future I wanted to become a businessman, so I figured uh, this class would be um, great to prepare me for uh, my college life and uh, future. I took Creative Designers because eventually I wanted to open up my own business, and they said it was a business simulation class, so I figured it would be very helpful. For creative designers, the future looks bright for these students. This is Wilkins Xavier signing out. RV's class of 2012 is selling Rancocas Valley spirit bracelets for $2 each. Please email Carolee Gray at cgray at rvrhs.com or Jen Cadlick at jcadlick at rvrhs.com to purchase your RV spirit bracelets. It's a cute addition to a holiday gift or a stocking stuffer. The junior class thanks you for your support. The RV dance team is selling cookbooks with 230 plus recipes in a three ring hardcover format. Pre-sale order forms are available in the main office. The cost is just $15 each or surprise someone for the holidays and buy two for only $25. See April Wagner if you have any questions. Check out the sample in the main office. On Tuesday, students donated blood to save lives. RV insider reporter Brett Axler was on hand with more. Hey, I'm here at the 2010 RV Blood Drive, sponsored by NHS. We're expecting a pretty good turnout today, so let's take a closer look. This past Tuesday, dozens of RV students and teachers took time out of their busy schedules to donate blood. We spoke with Lynn Ross, the woman in charge of this year's blood drive. I work for New Jersey Blood Services. We are a blood collection organization. We collect blood to provide it to the hospitals so that patients in the hospitals will have the blood they need. Uh, the major users of blood are cancer patients, and since almost everybody knows someone who's been touched by cancer, you probably know somebody who's used blood. We spoke with Ms. Ausbach, the RV NHS advisor, to find out more about why NHS hosts this blood drive. It's been a tradition every year for NHS to sponsor a blood drive. Um, some years we do one, some years we do two. Um, and also the number of lives that can be saved by students here donating is also very um, important. This day could not have been possible without the help of all the NHS volunteers. We interviewed a few to find out more about why it is they volunteered to help this year and what their jobs are. Well, me and Daniel Adams, we are chairs of the blood drive. So pretty much we organize with um, the New, New Jersey Blood Drive Center and we put together um, this actual day. We plan the day out. We get donors. Uh, my job is just, I'm an escort, so I'm here to escort the people from the where they donate blood over to the canteen, make sure they don't fall, faint, or have any problems. 
Well, I'm volunteering because I can't donate blood myself, so I figured I'd help out those who can. I just want to help out the people, and I know this is a very important thing for the community. Many students had their own reasons for taking part in this year's blood drive. I wanted to, you know, save lives because a lot of people need blood and can't get it. Uh, this is not my first time giving blood. I gave blood last year, but it's my first time using the uh, Alix machine over there, which is they took all my blood and they basically put back, I guess, this plasma stuff they didn't need, which I didn't mind. They said it saves more lives, and that's basically why I'm here. I donate blood because I feel like I have an obligation to help the community because uh, I had a great example. Uh, my dad's been donating for years, and I've just sort of been like, oh, well, if he's doing this for these people, why can't I? So as you can see, it's a good idea to give blood. Please, donate blood. Save a life. I'm Brett Axler for RVTV. Ms. Bruchansi's class is preparing holiday cards for our troops in Iraq. Do you know anyone who is stationed there and who would enjoy receiving a card? Please give any address information to Ms. Bruchansky via one of the following methods. Email cbruchansky at rvrhs.com, a note in her mailbox, or a note in Ms. Baldega's mailbox. The Nationwide Navy Academic Bowl 2010-2011 results are in, and RV's NJROTC academic team has successfully placed and advanced from Level 3 to Level 2 in February 2011. Over 200 schools competed, and we are one of the 75 advancing to the next level. Only five units are in, to, or five in to New Jersey. Last year, our team took second place nationwide. If you are invited to a holiday party, it isn't a good idea to show up empty-handed. RV Insider has a sugar cookie recipe to crave all your holiday hunger. Alyssa Healy has more. Begin to arrive. It's time to put on your oven mitts and get baking. Here's a delicious sugar cookie recipe for your holiday season. To bake holiday sugar cookies, you will need the following ingredients. Two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of butter softened, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. After gathering the necessary ingredients, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Stir in a small bowl, flour, baking soda, and baking powder. In a separate bowl, stir butter, sugar, one egg, and the vanilla extract. Bake your cookies for eight to 10 minutes in a preheated oven or until golden. Let your cookies cool for two minutes. And there you have it. For any holiday that you celebrate, add any delicious sprinkle topping. I'm Melissa Healy, signing off for RV Insider. The RV Step Team is selling Kid Stuff coupon books again this year. Kid Stuff coupon books are $25 and contain a host of coupons for vendors and businesses throughout the South Jersey area, including but not limited to Kohl's, ShopRite, Acme, Macy's, Barnes & Noble, and a variety of restaurants. See any member of the Hollywood Step Team or advisors Mrs. Addison or Ms. Johnson to purchase your book. The RVRHS Varsity Club is sponsoring its annual coat drive this December. New and gently used coats all sizes, male or female, also collected. New gloves, hats, blankets, scarves, thermal socks, all donations will go to the local shelters in Burlington County. Please drop off your donations in the boxes located in the front of the main office or in the guidance office. Any questions, please call Mrs. Armando at 267-0830. The holidays are a time to give and receive gifts. RV Insider asked students if they could receive any gift for the holidays, what would it be and why? With the holiday season fast approaching, RV Insider asked students what they want most for the holidays. It would be the lack of a brother. I hate my brother. Well, me and my best friend want to get The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 because we're obsessed with The Sims. If I could get one gift for the holiday, it would be ski goggles. Weird, but okay. Probably an iPad, because they're so cool. Thank you. Probably the new Epic Mickey game for the Wii. Hey. Uh, one gift that I would get for the holidays would be a car. So when I get my license, I won't have to drive my dad's car. Uh, some clothes. It would be the video game called Despicable Me, yeah? Um, I want money. Lots of money. <laughs> Thank you. For RV Insider, I'm Gabrielle Turkanian. Please join RV's class of 2012 at Friendly's on Monday, December 6th between 5 and 8 p.m. We'll have a 50-50 raffle, gift basket raffle, and students from the junior class selling spirit bracelets. The junior class appreciates your anticipated support. Now let's take a look at this week's five-day forecast. 
It is beginning to feel like the holidays as December kicks off with some chilly weather. It is going to be sunny and cold at the rest of the week with highs only reaching the mid-40s, so be sure to bundle up. That is all for RV Insider. I'm Courtney Gavin. And I'm Gabrielle Turkanian. Thanks for watching. Now I go.